time. I'm alive. I was convinced the pain would destroy me. But you would destroy me. But you freed me instead. The pain is gone. I feel almost whole. I will be, I think. Now that I'm out of Kem's damnable clutches, he and his black ring cronies will stop at nothing. To think I trusted a traitor. I thought him a friend, a protector of the city. Yet all the while he was trying to gain entry to the tomb, to Lucian's body. Just like you, I presume. You didn't come here by chance, did you? No. Your power, your skill. You're a god woken. Hmm. And I think it's fair to say you didn't come to save my hide out of the kindness of your heart, either. You want to enter the tomb of Lucian, don't you? Well, what people believe about my role as the keeper of Lucian's tomb is all part of the Divine's plan. You are Godwoken. I was told Godwoken would want to get into the tomb. I was also told I should make sure that doesn't happen. I swore an oath to prevent anyone from ever entering the tomb of the Divine. But that may have been a mistake. I've heard of your deeds. People call you a hero. Maybe you're worthy after all. The Divine's tomb is a fortress, a gauntlet. No single person was entrusted with the entire sequence necessary to enter. Not even I. Lucian insisted that no one ever approach his remains, especially a god woken. Before he died, he arranged for the lone wolves to hunt and harry any rumored god woken until they were dead or banished to the ends of the world. Within Lucian's body resides the very power of the gods. The power to seed a new divine. He insisted this power remain there, eternally sealed within the tomb. To what ends, I don't know. But I know that even in his great wisdom, Lucian could not have foreseen times like these. The Void's silent scream is about to engulf us. This is why I will help you. Because I believe only a new divine can save Rivalon. To pass the path of blood, you must bypass the statue of Lucian. The scroll of atonement, when used with a source amulet, will provide an alternative route. Have you by any chance met Sanders? The toy maker? He helped engineer the path of blood for Lucian. Well, most of it anyway. He's a genius, but his ways are, let's say, idiosyncratic. You may tell the toy maker Sanders I sent you. Sanders is the expert, but once you claim the amulet and the scroll, I'll explain how to use them. But be warned. Bypassing Lucian's statue is just the beginning. I may be able to forewarn you of the dangers you'll face, but you must still face them. I will answer as best as I can. The Divine worked in mysterious ways, and it was not our place to question him. I hope his spirit will forgive me for breaking my oath. He knew that his mortal remains would hold great power. The servants of the Void would naturally seek this power. We can never allow the Black Ring to lay their hands on his remains. <sighs> Good luck, Godwoken.
With a glint in the dark of his eye, the spirit of Kem sneers at you. I am sworn to the king, and sworn I remain, Godwoken. I owe you nothing. My aims were, are, no less than the God King's triumph. That's all you can know. Enough! Is it not obvious to you? To own this city is to own the cathedral, to own the tomb, to own Lucian. Lucian is the key. The Seven may be dead, but their essence still lives within his rotting corpse. When the God King claims that final pearl of divinity, his reign will begin. Imagine it, Godwoken, a pure and perfect world. Cowards will no longer beg for scraps and warriors' feet. The fruits of our own labor will belong only to us. The divinity held within Lucian's cadaver belongs only to the king's chosen. And you, you are not worthy. It matters not if you defeat every last lich whose bones have risen in my master's honor, Godwoken. With or without me, with or without Ishmael, the God King rises. My master requires nothing less than the dead divine lying in its most famous tomb. There is still the wisp of the seven residing within him, a single wisp separating the rightful king from his kingdom.
many more of those on my sleeve. You must truly savor my company, Godwoke. Those are my sleeve. <coughs> Don't have many more of those on my sleeve. of those on my sleeve. <sighs> I'm growing soft, aren't I? those on my sleeve. Growing soft, aren't I? I'm growing soft, aren't I? Are going to be the death of me. Expert warriors for hire. You're seasoned in combat. They won't let you down. <coughs> I'm growing soft, aren't I? Soft, aren't I? Oh. Mm. Don't have many. 
any more of those on my sleeve. Again. Did you find them? Then the vault is real. I can't believe it. What did you find? Do show me, please. Let's have a long-awaited look. So I finally have all three. Seven bless you for your troubles. Although no greater blessing really than lots and lots of precious things. Doesn't seem like the kind of place you'd hide a vault. Yes. Carriage, no time, no tarragon. Not with Master Kembin the way he's been. I fear, is far too busy with his little coup. Well, hello again. My husband? What is it? What happened? My husband? He's gone. 
I knew this day might come given his position and the state of things in the world. A noble risk, he called it. Do you know how it happened? Her eyes widen. She falls into a shocked silence for a moment, then nods. She believes you. I... I thought I knew him. Clearly, I didn't. I knew he was changed, but... But this darkness, this terrible darkness within him, it seems impossible. You have my thanks for your candor. I'd like some time to myself now, if you don't mind. Come out, come out, wherever you are. There's an air about this place. Something s-
Lady Kem has been kind. Lady Kem has been... Lady Kem has been... Under lock and key. Done, then. Wanna buy some stuff? Wanna sell some stuff? She responds with a nervous. I've walked this earth, each vale and peak. From forests fair to cities. Care to trade, friend? My surest friend. It sounds banal, but I feel better when the air's filled with song. Hope you like what you see. I packed my life up. In a... Mind your own business, would you? This is a... Excuse us, please. Would that Lucian were here with us still. Void would never dare trespass while the Divine walked this sacred city. I'm sure it's a tale you've heard before, and I'm sure it has the same twist. And then there were Void Woken. A few of your kin managed to escape to Kem's estate. The rest... <sighs> They were consumed by cursed flames. I'm sure your skill would prove invaluable. Whatever your house, were there void woken left to slay? I'm afraid the terrors waiting within aren't so... tangible, however. The priestess's eyes glaze over, and she shivers in fear. You'd have to be mad to continue. And if you managed to escape, you'd be madder still. I can't say more. Please, do whatever you can to help. Funny how it's our consulate that's burning, isn't it? Mark me. 
the ancient empire does not forget. Weak faith enables tragedies such as these. Safeguard yourself and your loved ones. No surprise that the Void woke and attacked the Lizard Embassy first. Them dreamers use the sorcerer, I'm telling you. First, we must ask. The Paladins are saying the Magisters did this. To think we trusted them. There may be void woken still in there. This is no ordinary fire. Water has no effect. Better to just contain it until it dies down. Careful! This fire's of the void! Infernal stuff! Can't be put out by normal means. Best to wait it out. It'll have to die eventually. Void woken. Arcs used to be safe from those things. Not anymore. The lizards inside the consulate never stood a chance. It's all the bloody Magister's fault. They can add the dead to their butcher's bill. Because they're collaborating with the Black Ring. It's no coincidence that those monstrosities appeared just as we confronted them about their betrayal. At least Lord Kem's putting a stop to them now. By all means. But if you run into trouble, don't expect me to stick my neck out to help you. Now, now, I know Kem can be a bit testy, but that's no reason to start spreading rumors like that. If you want to point fingers, start with the Magisters, but keep your crazy fables to yourself. What do you mean, like pestering Magisters while Arcs all but sinks into the sea? Spare me. My Prince, please, forgive the state of my garb. I barely escaped the Consulate with my life, no thanks to Lucian's supposedly elite paladins. My prince, the Void Woken tore down the consulate barricades like they were paper. I pray you keep the Empire safe from their claws. There may be Void Woken still in there. Then let them burn.
Resurrected. Allergic to blessings, are you?
Oh. 